All right, guys, we are continuing on the lead code right now. We have find words that can be formed by characters. Uh, you're given an array of words and string characters. Uh, so we have an array of words down here like cat, bt, hat, tree. bt isn't a word, but whatever. And then a string of characters, right? A string is good, so we're classifying good uh, if it can be formed uh, by the characters in chars. So if these words can be formed by the characters in this string, then it is a good considered good. Um, each character can be used only once. So it looks like we that that means that this a can only be used once, this t can only be used once, this a can only be used once, etc. You don't have infinite of each character. Um, return the sum of the lengths of the good strings. Okay, so we know bt cannot be made because there's no b, and we know tree cannot be made because there is no r. Um, there's also no e's, but cat and hat can because there are there's an hat and there's a cat. Now cat and hat are each three, so we add those together in length, and um, we get six. So we want to return the sum of the good the lengths of the good words. Okay, so let's let's just write that out. So good word lengths sum sum or whatever, right? Well, so we'll set that to zero at first, and that's what we're going to be returning here. Now, how do we do that? How are we going to return, how are we going to get and check if a word is good or not? Well, this is one of those problems where you're going to want to use the integer arrays that represent the character counts. So like char counts is something I often use in my videos, and we're going to declare it to be a new int array of size 26 for the number of letters in the alphabet. And that is going to keep track of the count of each character, right? So we know what we're working with. So it's going to go through, we're going to loop through this char's string. Let's just do that really quick. Um, chars .to char array so that we can loop through it. So we're going to loop through this char array and we're going to increment by one at the particular index the char current character would be at. So if you do C minus A, that takes the character, so if it's A, for example, like in the first one, so the first iteration of the loop, if it was A, it would do char counts of A minus A, that would give us zero. So in A is the zero out of 26 letter in the alphabet. So it accesses the correct index and it increments that uh, for certain index so we know how many of each letter we're working with. So by the end of this, we would have two in the zeroth index of this array, meaning we have two A's to work with, right? And this is a common thing because 26 doesn't scale with the word and it doesn't scale with the character. So it's actually a, in space terms, it's only. Uh, 26 indices that we're dealing with. It's not like linear space. It's not a, it's constant space. Um, so now we're going to loop through the words. That's, that's a main portion of it is that we need that. And that's an important concept in a lot of algorithm problems. Um, now this is where it gets a little bit trickier. We're going to also make another, at another level, we're going to do the same exact thing. Now we're just going to clone that array. Um, we're going to say temp char counts is equal to arrays.copy of is a good method to copy this array. You just pass in the array and then you pass in the array's length. So we make a copy of the array and then we say valid char count. That's going to be a variable we use here. And then we're going to actually, now that we're looping through each word in words, we're going to loop through each character in the specific word. So what we're doing is we have this array. We are looping, we know how many of each letter we have in an array over here. Now we're going to loop through this word, th we're going to go this word, this word, this word, this word. That's what this loop's doing. Then we're going to go through each character so that we can actually determine if the word current word is valid. So we have the current word as word. Now we're going to loop through it, char c in word dot two char array, just like we did above. And this will let us loop through each individual character of the current word, and we could check if it's valid. Now, how do we check if it's valid? Well, we're going to be using the above, right? So to use the above, what we'll do is we'll say, okay, if we have the current character, right? If the array of the character is the index, if we have that character to work with, remember, this is a clone. This is a clone of the counts, right? So, for example, if the... When, when we check um, C, 
it would check the index where C is, and if there's more than zero, well then that means we have one of those characters that we can work with. So what we can do is we can increment our valid char count by one. That means that is a valid character, that's a valid character we can use towards completing this word. And then we can decrement the count of it so that we don't use it again. Um, so we'll just do minus minus there. And this is going to work out perfectly because if it, uh, this, this valid char count is going to end up being equivalent to the length of the word if we can get all, all, if all of the characters are found within here. If we have usable characters left, we increment the valid char count and it will be equal to the word length. So all we have to do is say, okay, well, if valid char count is equal to word.length, well, then that means that we they all the characters were valid. All the characters in the current word were fa also found in the chars that we have available. In the counts, the, it all matched up. Everything was greater than zero. We incremented it enough so that it was equal. So now we can actually increment the um, the upper the the higher level good word length sum. This means this means that the whole word was valid. So we can actually increment it by the word.length. So we add the length of the valid word, the good word, to our good word length sum. And this is going to be pretty much all we need to do here to complete our problem. Um, cannot find symbol on line 11. So what is that? Temperature counts. What is it? I don't think that's right. Int temp char counts equals arrays.copy of char counts. What's the issue? Int valid char count. Okay. So, I mean, that was it. I mean, I passed in for arrays. I guess it's no parentheses. I don't know. I haven't been doing these that much, so I guess that makes sense. I don't really want to edit this and make myself look good. Whatever. You can see an error there. Um, I think I'm going to upload this. Don't critique me that much. Sorry about that. But I hope I explained this concept pretty well to you. You have an array up here that keeps track of the count of these characters and then you may loop through each of the words and each of the characters in the words and you make sure that they were available because we make a copy of this with each word has its own copy of these counts and we make sure that we are able to complete the entire word using only the counts in there and if we can't the valid char count won't match up I uh, hope you can look into this a little more I think I've explained it enough but um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll try and answer those. Uh, join the Discord and support me on Patreon if you can. Sorry for the mistake. I'm not editing that, so thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys next time.